Hello dear friends and dear student today our topic is law of supply the very important topic in economics we have made different laws in economics so these laws have some assumptions also while making the economics topic and sub topic here i have taken the law of supply law of supply states that citrus paribus it means the other thing be unchanged so there are different variables which should, which should not be changed there are different factor which affects the supply they should remain constant and it is a word explain it we have used the word citrus paribus so the law of citrus paribus that citrus paribus constant all the other affecting factor that affecting the law of supply or supply we have the two valuable variables these are the price and the other another one is a supply of a commodity we are using only two variables the price and the another one is supply all other variables are constant in a word citrus paribus so we are correlating these two words what happens when the price changes to its supply of a commodity so we have explained it in a law of supply so what the law of supply states it states that citrus paribus if the price of a commodity increases then its supply also increases and if the price of a commodity decreases then its supply decreases so there is a direct relationship between the price and the quantity supply we can also explain it by the formula such as s is equal to function of p that means uh, supply is always affecting with its price if the price increases supply also increases if the price decreases supply is also decreases and it is a direct relationship between these now we will explain our law of supply with the supply schedule here we have taken different prices in this column 2 4 6 8 10 what happens if the prices are less and what happens if the prices increases so the quantity supply of commodity supply showing when the price is 2 the supply is 2 and when the price is 4 the supply is 4 and similarly when the price increases up to 10 the uh, uh, the quantity of supply also increases up. and now we will show the law of supply with a graph so we have taken the same schedule as previous schedule we have taken the same schedule here and we are showing this schedule into a graph here we have taken in uh, quantity supply in x axis and the prices in y axis and when we taken price and quantity supply 2 2 4 4 6 6 and 8 8 in a graph it makes the supply curve and it is also showing when the price is 2 the supply is 2 when the price is increases up to 10 the uh, supply is also increases and it is also showing the law of supply and now we will explain the word which we have used in the definition of law of supply when we are defining the law of supply we have used the word citrus paribus what actually the citrus paribus is explaining citrus paribus it is a latin phrase that means a group of word 
all the other thing all other thing being equal all the other thing being equal they are not changing and they are remain same and it is first used by cicero now what the word is citrus peribus is same as the assumption so when we are explaining assumption of law of supply that means same what, uh, the meaning of citrus peribus it is assuming that there should be no changes in the technology if we uh, change them then the law of supply could not work what is the other assumption or citrus peribus there should be no changes in the government policy the third one is there should be no changes in the price of a substitute goods the fourth one is the price or cost of factor of production should not change there should be no changes in the prices of a commodity in coming future also and the number of firms and goal of firms should be remain constant that makes the citrus peribus or the assumption of the law of supply now there are few exceptions what are the exception where the law of supply could not work the first one is if there is a chance of increase of price of a commodity in future when we are let's suppose if uh, we are thinking that the prices should increase in few coming future so the um, seller could not sell its commodity what he has in stock he will wait for the future and the law of in a also in a uh, high price he is not going to sell out its product he is waiting till the for the coming future when the price hike more now the next one is where it is also exception of law of demand if some of the agriculture products especially which are non durable product law of supply is not works there the third one is perishable good this point is same as what i have said in the second point perishable the next one is rare goods it is also a uh, exception of law of demand the monopoly if there is a monopoly then the law of supply could not work old fashion goods uh, are not uh, demanded in the society and if a person wants to sell it it will be sold out in a lesser price so it is also a exception of law uh, law and here i have finished this uh, topic the law of supply and uh, please like and share my